Hi, I'm Eric with South Texas Support Court. Thanks for tuning in today to this short video. My boys and I are out here working in this gym. This is the floor that we put in last year and the school has since added these bleachers all along the back wall. So one of the unique benefits of Sport Court gym flooring is the ability to lift it up and to make changes after it's been installed. You can't do this with any other gym floor. This is great because we can add elements to the floor that weren't there before. Sometimes a different coach comes in and they have different curriculum needs than their predecessor. We're able to go in and make modifications to the floor to meet the curriculum needs of that coach. In this particular case, this is not a curriculum issue. This is an issue where we want the floor to be able to support the load of these bleachers. So all floors have a finite load carrying capability. Our floor does as well. The nice thing about our floor though, is we can increase that nearly double the load carrying capability uh, by adding this simple tile. We call it a bleacher block. This actually fits underneath our flooring and it increases the load carrying capability of the floor. So we're not putting these everywhere. We don't need them everywhere. We're simply putting them where the wheels of the bleachers are. Probably about a three or four hour process to install all of these um, on a Saturday afternoon. When doing this process with my boys, I identify the areas of the floor that need to be reinforced. I then remove the flooring and cut out the rubber underlayment. My boys follow behind, installing the bleacher block and reinstalling the flooring I have removed. On this set of bleachers, there were two dozen rows of wheels. This included the primary wheels, the outrigger wheels, and the drive wheels. I wanted all of the flooring under these wheels to be reinforced. Because of the close proximity of some of the wheels, I tried to work well ahead of my boys so that we were not in each other's way. I skipped over some areas in order to get further ahead. I then came back to those areas that I had skipped as my boys progressed with their work. I guess you might say that we employed a leapfrog type of workflow. Once all of the flooring was reinstalled, we vacuum the entire area around the bleachers. As always, our goal is for a job site to be cleaner as we're leaving than it was when we arrived. If you'd like a more in-depth look at installing bleacher block to reinforce a sport court gym floor, please see the video link in the description below. In this other video, I discuss weight load distribution, the structural design of the flooring pieces, and show you exactly how the sport court bleacher block is installed. Please share this video with your friends or colleagues who need this information. If you'd like to see more of this type of content, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. And if you found the information helpful, or if you have a question, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. God bless. To learn more about our products and services, please visit SouthTexasSportCourt.com. SportCourt is a registered trademark. Various design characteristics of products manufactured by SportCourt are either patented or have patents pending. Though other products in the marketplace may look similar to SportCourt, these knockoff products do not provide the energy absorbing safety benefits, longevity, quality, or value that is provided by SportCourt surfacing and related products.